Hi, my name is Michael Caduce, EMS educator at the EMS LRC. Today, we will be discussing the application of the traction splint. First, I need to ensure I am wearing proper body substance isolation, which includes gloves and eye protection. Then, I need to assess for the signs of a closed mid-shaft femur fracture with no hip or pelvis involvement. Then, I will assess the pulse, motor function, and sensation in the distal injured extremity. I will then have my partner secure the ankle hitch and pull moderate inline traction. I will measure the traction splint on the uninjured extremity with the device extending about 8 inches beyond the foot and tighten the ratchet strap to stabilize the device. I will place the device underneath the injured extremity and have my partner align the leg with the device. To secure the leg to the device, I will first secure the ischial strap. I will then attach the ankle hitch to the device and apply traction to the extremity by tightening the strap. Using the hair traction splint, I will pull traction until their patient reports feeling relief. I will then secure the limb to the device using these support straps while making sure I do not secure the strap over the injury site or the knee. I will then reassess the pulse, motor function, and sensation of the extremity. Properly treating a closed mid-shaft femur fracture with a traction splint is an important skill of the EMT.